Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I am here at Saratoga Saddlery in Saratoga Springs, New York. Today I got a really cool pair of corral boots. This is a Piruku wide square toe boot. We're going to get into the details here in a quick impression right here in store. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way all right, guys, I am here at Saratoga Saddlery in Saratoga Springs, New York. One of my viewers and friends, Jim Collins, told me about this store, so I had to pop through, and you guys can see a video that we actually did together. The last one that I posted, the link is above, and I'll also put it at the end screen and in the description as well. This is a beautiful store, guys. Just incredible. They got lots of corrals and lots of Lucases. So if you're ever passing through Saratoga Springs or Albany or Schenectady, you got to go out of your way and come here to try out some beautiful boots, including this corral Piruku boot. Let's get straight into the rundown. All right, so this is corral boot model number A4049 and it features Piruku fish leather on the vamp and the counter and that Piruku fish leather is so soft it's one of my favorite favorite leathers it breathes so well it's so supple and is actually a little bit more durable than what you might expect it also comes in at around 13 inches tall with a beautiful red top it features a wide square toe with a double stitched welt. It also has around a one and a half inch stacked leather stockman heel. For an outsole on Corral's website, it says it's leather and they might have some leather outsole models, but this one feels more of like a composite rubber or something. A very smooth sort of uh, rubber and also does have what seems to be a rubber midsole. This is looking like a really durable outsole for sure. On the inside, we got a hung leather lining, so it covers up that side seam on the inside, so you shouldn't get any rubbing against your ankle or your leg. It's a very nice construction, and it's a super soft leather too. That's a bovine leather, and it feels incredible around the top and around the foot. And for an insole, you got a soft leather insole. It feels like with a layer of leather and some foam underneath that. This Corral boot is also made in Mexico and it's coming in at $498 at saratogasaddlery.com. Now it's time to try on this boot and see how it looks and feels. All right, guys, I got on the Corral wide square toe Piruku boot right now and I'm loving the feel of it. It's got that soft leather insole on the inside and uh, it's got some nice cushion to it too guys i went with the 10 and a half d for me which is what i would want to choose if i was going to go with an ariat wide square toe uh, technically i'm a 12b so i find myself sizing down a lot especially with the wide square toes so sizing down to a 10 and a half d for me is pretty usual very very similar to the fit of an ariat um, in my opinion so the piruku leather is really soft really supple it breathes really well too uh, i i don't think you guys can go wrong with it uh, it might be a little bit aggressive looking for some of you folks out there it just does have that kind of flaky look that uh, might uh, creep some of you guys out in fact it was uh, voted as one of the creepiest exotic leathers <laughs> on one of my previous videos that you can check out above um, but guys I think it's an awesome leather and at $498 I feel like that's a really good price for a fish boot like this now I like the black color but usually I'm not such a fan of the natural leather brown as a welt and heel with the black. <clears throat> not my favorite look ever, but that's just my personal preference. Uh, I think it is still a good look if you do like it. I would prefer a 
black welt and a black heel. <clears throat> but that's just me. The outsole uh, does feel a little bit, it's not quite as stiff as I thought it was going to be uh, when it was in my hands. Uh, it is pretty flexible. Maybe not quite as flexible as what a leather might be. Like I said, I don't think this is a leather outsole. It doesn't feel like it, even though there might be some models out there that do have a leather outsole. I don't believe that this one is, but it is built to last. I don't think that you're going to be getting a resole of this boot as soon as you would for a leather outsole boot, just because it does have that composite rubber, I believe as the outsole and it does have an extra midsole as well. Here's the POV with that wide square toe. You can really see those scales of that fish there. And I know wide square toe, a lot of you guys can take it, leave it, a lot of you guys love it. A lot of you guys aren't so much a big fan of it. But uh, either way, that wide square toe creates a great palette for that Piruruku fish skin to just shine and show off those scales to the world. All right, guys, I'm a huge fan of the Piruruku leather, and on this Corral boot, it feels incredible as well. Um, I like the black of it. A lot of the Piruruku in a brown or a cognac or a lighter color can really get a little bit more tension than some of you guys might be comfortable with. Same thing with full quill. It seems like black kind of covers up the shadows of the quills on the full quill ostrich. Um, if you were to get a brown, then those quills will really show. So, so black is a nice way to experience an exotic leather without showing all of the exotic nature of an exotic boot if that's what you were sort of interested in hiding and of course this this isn't going to shine up or anything but uh, it's still a great look and a great feeling leather altogether. I really like the outsole. I hope to get the chance to try this out a little bit more because I don't get to see a lot of these outsoles it, around. Um, it feels like a composite sort of rubber but it does have the flexibility and it also has a it seems to be another rubber midsole in the middle here. So this is a, a very durable built boot that I'd love to get the chance to try out uh, more in the future, maybe in an extended test. They also do have a brown color in this boot with a green top. And I'll put the link to this in the description as well if you're looking for more of a brown. And the brown, in my opinion, works a little bit better with that natural welt. And this one also has a hybrid outsole rather than what this rubber sort of composite outsole is. So this is leather and has that rubber right in the middle at the ball of the foot. It's a really comfortable boot too with that soft leather insole and that foam underneath. So if you guys are interested in trying out an exotic boot, uh, Piruruku. I think this is a great price. I'll leave the link in the description at just under $500. A lot of Piruruku boots are going for maybe $600 or more. So I think this is a very reasonable price for a Piruruku fish boot and you can get it at Saratoga Saddlery. I highly recommend that you stop through here if you're ever going through upstate New York. It's about 30, 40 minutes north of Albany, Schenectady area. So if you're close by, maybe traveling on the 90 and you need a break, definitely go out of your way, head on up here to Saratoga Springs and stop in here at Saratoga Saddlery, or you can find them online at saratogasaddlery.com. Let me know what you guys think of this Corral Fish boot, the Piruruku. Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys around. Peace. I see you wishing it. You could be fishing nets In those Piruku black corrals Great look that never fails You could be fishing nets Yeah Why don't you check out this other video up here that I did At Saratoga Saddlery Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time Peace have a good one.